Now, the Miami Heat have been without Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo for some games this season. And of course, we thought that the worst was about to happen for this Heat Nation because they lost some games. They went from around the first and second seed down to the sixth seed. But if we had faith in our team, we know that Eric Spolstra and Pat Riley would not let this team lose that long. And we ended up going against the Milwaukee Bucks. And Caleb Martin surprised us all. Kyle Lowry was moving the ball around. And that's the main reason why we ended up defeating the defending NBA champions. Now tonight, we had to go against one of the hottest teams in the Eastern Conference. Actually, the second seed, the Chicago Bulls. And even though they didn't have DeMar DeRozan, we were able to come out victorious. We ended up winning 118 to 92. And we got some spectacular performances from some unexpected players. Now, Gabe Vincent, he was able to get the start tonight. He had eight points, four rebounds, four assists, shot four of nine from the field, and he contributed with four steals. He was a plus 17 and a plus minus. He was up against Lonzo Ball. He was up against Zach Levine. And I'm surprised, well, I'm not really surprised, but I am very grateful that he has got this chance to shine. Kyle Lowry, he continued moving the ball around. He had 16 points, three rebounds, 14 assists, two steals, shot 60% from the field, 80% from the three-point line, and was a plus 26 in the plus minus, which was the highest out of everybody in the entire game. Now, Dwayne Detman, he was somebody that surprised me tonight. I was actually happy about what he did. I didn't feel like the Miami Heat were undersized this game. Just off the fact that he had 20 points, 12 rebounds, two assists, shot eight of 13 from the field, two of two from the three-point line, 100% from the free throw line, and he had contributed with the steal and a block. Now, last and not least, the guy that everybody thought that we should trade, the guy that has been on one of the worst shooting slumps for one of the greatest shooters, one of the fastest shooters to reach 500 three-pointers in the entire league. Now, that was Duncan Robinson. He had 26 points, shot 9 of 13 from the field, 5 of 9 from downtown, and 100% from the free throw line. He also had a block, but that doesn't matter compared to the offensive game that he had tonight. For majority of the season, he was stinking up the place, but tonight that doesn't matter. They went against Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, two of the best defensive guards in the NBA. Then they still had Zach Levine and Vucevic. Those are two guys that are NBA all-star caliber. If Duncan continues to play like this, then we shouldn't hear any more trade rumors for the rest of the season. However, we just have to see how these next few games go. Now, Tyler Hero, he had 17 points, six rebounds, three assists, and shot seven of 18 from the field and three of nine from downtown. Now, I wouldn't be worried about that whatsoever. He's been moving in and out of the starting lineup so he just needs to get in a rhythm with that second unit. He needs to get back in a rhythm and get some consistency from the coach. And I want to talk about this Miami Heat defense because in the last two games, they haven't had either Bam Adebayo or Jimmy Butler. And against the Milwaukee Bucks, they held them to 42.4% field goal percentage. And tonight, against the Chicago Bulls, it was even worse. They held them to 37.3%. They were able to out-rebound him 57 to 51. And with Kyle Lowry leading the offense, being that floor general, that facilitator that we desperately need, they were able to only turn over the ball eight times. And they were able to get 22 points off the turnovers. So you know that we were terrorizing them on the defensive side of the ball. We was converting. And at the end of the day, if the Heat continue to play like this, then we don't need to rush Jimmy Butler or Bam Adebayo back at all. Victor Oladipo's time will come. The only thing that we needed to do was let Eric Spolster believe in his rotations. Gabe Vincent and Max Struess should have been two guys that have should have tested the rotations from the beginning. They should have at least rotated in the starting lineup. Their ability to play defense shows us that we have more than what we thought. Some NBA teams and execs think that the Miami Heat's bench isn't all that. But in recent games, 
we know that once everybody is healthy, we will be back on top of the Eastern Conference. And maybe we don't even have to be fully healthy at the moment to continue to go on a winning streak. Now, in the next five games, we have to play against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Philadelphia 76ers, the Orlando Magic, the Detroit Pistons, and the Indiana Pacers. And honestly, we can win all of these games. Whenever it comes down to the injury so far, Kayla Martin can be out until at least December 13th. And that goes as far as Jimmy Butler and Markeith Morris. Whenever it comes down to Victor Oladipo, only time will tell. But just know, this Heat Nation will be ready. Now before I head out you guys, I do have two questions, but first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. Once I reach 1100 followers, I'll be giving away an NBA jersey of your choice. And once I reach 5,000 subs on this channel, I'll be giving away another Miami Heat jersey. All you have to do is comment Miami Heat in my DMs. Follow my main Scotty Ice page. And I also have a GoFundMe and the link is in the description below. Now the questions that I have for today is, one, do you think that Duncan Robinson will be out of his shooting slump at least in the next 10 to 12 games? I believe that he has a chance because tonight, he probably got that confidence that he desperately needed. It was a really great game against one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. So you know he has to be feeling himself a little tonight. And the next question I have for today is, who do you think in the rotation that comes off the bench will be one of the most important factors besides Tyler Hero? Is it Max Struess, Gabe Vincent, KZ? Or is it any of these guys? Tell me who, which one do you think? I really like Gabe Vincent and Max Struess because like I said before, they can shoot the ball, they can play defense, they have been consistent. So whenever that time arises, they will be ready no matter what. I appreciate all you guys loving your support. And as always, this is your boy Scotty Ice, AKA Baby Brian, and you already know, I'm out.